What's going on, everybody? Back with another video. And as everybody knows, the the uh, flu games were, were retro. And since you know there was a lot of buzz about the shoe, uh, <clears throat> I had actually seen them in person, of course, prior to getting my hands on them. And I thought I'd pull out the OGs and kind of compare, contrast, and uh, just give you a little breakdown of them. So. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, it starts. So we're going to start with the boxes. Right from the outset, you can tell this box, of course, this is the 2016 version for the Jumpman. 97 version, of course, with the swoosh there. But right from the you can see there's a clear difference in terms of the size. This box is way bigger um, than this one. <clears throat> now, differences here, of course, they did. See, this is one of the boxes that was reminiscent of the older style here with both the brown, uh, the black, and the red, or the reddish orange color scheme. Here, there's similar. So this one here. Now, there's this one here, as you can see. I just like to say, just do it. There, on the side panel there. This one says Jordan. This one has jump men on the front and the back. Whereas this one has Nike and the swoosh on both the front and the back. Now, this here says quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Just as it says on the back heel tab here. And this one, this says is engineered and built to the exact specifications of championship athletes around the world. Also see the differences in the box tabs as well um, in both the font and the style there. So, so the differences there. Let's get to the main event. What all 16 of you came here for. And that is the shoes. So let's go ahead take these out. You can see here <coughs> as I'm doing this, these are <coughs> the originals are wrapped in. Of course, the black wrapping paper here, the more plastic type paper. Whereas, this box out of the way here, this is more of a thin, thin butcher style paper here. And this is really just a, a, a buffer. Then there's just a, more paper stuffing inside. So, there's no cards or anything with that much. and get right into this and get this done and <clears throat> from the outset I'm gonna stack them up like this now <clears throat> right the first thing that jumped out to me was the height both the height and the feel of the mud guard here it's actually taller on the original <clears throat> uh, this one is a little thinner and then it has a different feel to it uh, this just has a more of a pebbled type feel than this one, which is rather smooth. And <clears throat> is the midsole here, both uh, both here on the forefoot and overall. Now, if memory serves me correctly, this midsole was a, a uh, injection molding process, whereas this one is just more more or less painted on, which is why it gives you a different uh, both feel and texture um, and uh, coat. This is. This is matte, as you can see, and this is more shiny um, <clears throat> as well. Um, the, like I said, the Jumpman part, this, that's pretty much identical. I'm sorry. That part is pretty much uh, identical, as you can see there. Um, I think I wanted to, to touch on, um, in terms of the overall, the leather on here, 
um, feels thicker. Um, it, it feels like it's of a higher quality than this one, which is it's this is not bad, but of course it's not gonna be on this level. And even one of the things that stood out to me when I first took these out of the box <coughs> was the the actual uh, stitching that it was indented more into the upper, so it gives it a more uh, pronounced look with the sun rays and everything. Whereas this one, it, it sits more on top of the leather and not uh, pushed down as much. Uh, you know, most people may not notice that, but that being a shoe geek, I would notice that. Um, to the back here, <coughs> see this is pretty much identical. Both of them say, uh, <coughs> I'm gonna come around here so you can see it. Yeah, you can see both of them say, "Was Jordan quality inspired by the greatest ever?" And so that's pretty much. Um, a little closer here, so you can see it. That's pretty much spot on, both leading to the red block here, with a uh, black jump man in the negative space there. That's your 23 <clears throat> back on both of them. Um, <clears throat> so that's that's intact on both as well. Now, getting to the front here, and the jump man on the on the newer trim here. I'm trying to hold it up to hopefully you can tell. Is a little bigger. This one's a little bigger than that of the uh, 97 version. <coughs> it's just a hair, and. <coughs> The leather at the top now this again could be an age thing um it's a bit more textured on this one as well <coughs> now and here was another thing that i did want to point out really quick now if you'll notice let me do it with this one on the tongue of this one hopefully you can tell here i'm gonna spread this out see this is how the, the top of the tongue is folded over and this, this is an invisible seam here that bonds it to the back of the tongue here. Very nice touch here on this one. So you can see it wasn't done that way. So you can actually see right there, the seam there. It's a small thing, but it's just one of those little touches um, that I did notice. Now the eyelets <coughs> on both, they're both black. These are plastic. Whereas that's more of a metallic uh, material there. <coughs> both of them. The interior, which is both black, as is the sock liner. Um, the jump man on those are no longer visible, so I do apologize for that. Now on this one, as you can see, it is also black. There's a red jump man there. The course on the back here, it's going to be different. That's the, the tab on this one. On this one, it's hard to get to. It's actually, I'll try to get it to where you can see it. If I can pull it out here without bending them too much, and I can't, but actually, yes, I can. There it is. Hopefully, it'll show up there. Let's see if I can. It actually sits right there inside on the medial side here. Now, on the outsole, they are pretty much identical again. <coughs> Any uh, difference in color is primarily just due to the originals here being 20 years old. Now, <clears throat> this one, they both have the same carbon fiber. This one, um, the original is a bit darker than that one as well. We'll have black jump in there. And there's your 23 uh, tab on both of those guys there. <coughs> and so it goes right there. So, and those were, that's kind of a comparison there, but overall, I think for the most part, it is a fairly, uh, a fairly accurate representation of the shoe. The, the shape of the toe box, at least that I saw, is slightly, it's a touch, but um, overall, I thought it was a faithful um, execution of the shoe. I knew it wasn't going to be quite the 97 quality, but still, nonetheless, very good. I was overall uh, happy with it. Let me just go down here so you can kind of see that a little better. Go out there. So, that's going to 
wrap up uh, our comparison the 2016 the Air Jordan 12 flu game and the original 1997 version there so I want to thank everybody for watching thank you for subscribing tell a friend tell a friend all that good stuff back with more videos soon peace